Hello everyone, Sigler here. Chef, Bork, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm gonna show you a farm. Uh, you can see it over there. Uh, well, not there because my daughter is playing in some Minecraft. But you can see in the corner here, over there, uh, where I did the farm. Okay, I was actually like changing some settings. But I did a farm where we run around in Darkshore. Make change this a bit, and there we go. Uh, we run around over here, pretty close to the red crystal uh, quest, and just killing moonkins because the moonkins is very underestimated. Uh, for starters, I got like twelve thousand XP an hour, which is not uh, it's not the best, but it's something, and uh, it's like it's a brain dead farm. You pretty much just run around and like mob grinding. And this, I'm gonna try this once I get to like max level because this could be even better because you're gonna kill everything faster. But in one hour, I got 92 small eggs and uh, for 50, what's this? Oh yeah, uh, 48, 48 light feathers. And the light feathers are going for, like they're pretty expensive actually. And they, they do sell. Uh, I haven't sold that many now, though. But, I mean, they, they do sell eventually. So, let's start by posting them at 5. There we go. So, no, you know what? I actually changed my mind. I'll do that later. Uh, so we're gonna do a calculation here just to see how much we earned because the the it says here seven gold That is actually not true because this is the small egg and if we search on small egg It's uh, around three Silver each around three But what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna do the herd baked eggs, which is five. So that's even more So let's do here uh, let's see here. That stupid unit scan. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It's 0 0.0496 uh, to be uh, exact. And times how many? 92. So that's four and a half gold. So we have four and a half gold. And then we have the light feathers. Which was this one. So four and a half time uh, plus 0 0.1166 times how many did I have? 48. 48. So that's five and a half gold. So then we do this plus 4.5. So 10 gold an hour. Which is not bad. I, I did like, and I'm leveling as a druid. Like, sure, I have star search, but I mean, you can solo get it. If the if the area is busy, you will die a lot, of course, if if you're unlucky. But like, if the the place is pretty crowded, you can solo it because you pretty much have to talk to the dwarf, then go to the frog, drink the drink, and speak to her. So if you're fast enough, you could solo it. But, I mean, it, the, the farm is very underestimated, and it's super simple. You just go there to this part over here in Darkshore. <laughs> it's over here. I mean, it's right next to Aberdeen. Uh, sure, we, we looted 21 silver, because the Moonkins actually drops, uh, drops uh, a few silver and copper here and there. Uh, so you get something from that as well. They do gr drop gray, but in my opinion, it felt like more worth this. I need to fix that so it doesn't sound. Um, the thing is like they, uh, it, it's a very simple farm to do. And they, they yield pretty decent EXP. But I destroyed the gray, the grays that they dropped, just because I wanted to do com continue the farm. So, I mean, 10 gold an hour? 
in my opinion, why leveling ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. And, like, I, I haven't said that uh, Moonkin, uh, well, a Druid would be the best farming class either. Uh, Hunter would probably be even faster. Especially if you if you get the melee specialist at level 1. Um, I, 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 I saw that Solheim did, like, a video on it. So, where you can get the, uh, like, the Dark Rider thing on level 1. The rune. So check that out if you haven't found it. But I mean, and you also get the Waylight Supply from it as well. So, I mean, you could you could fill the craters as well because they stack up to 12. So if you have the gold also, you could you could just fill them and turn them in. I mean, let I I mean it, it depends on how what the price is. Okay, silver leaf gonna check so 25 or so when we need we need this many I'm actually gonna sh just see okay I bought a, a, a bit too many but okay so we spent around 10 silver there I believe uh, I know for a fact that you're getting gold from this now I think they increased it like how much you're getting from the supplies so I just wanted to check Another thing while we are at it. But I mean, this farm is just super, super simple to do. And I got a couple of greens as well. Um, most likely they will not sell. So either you could vendor trash them or you can send them to uh, like level five uh, bank alt or something and disenchant them because uh, the materials are free to post on the auction house. So I think I'd rather we do that on a lot of stuff. Depending on, now for example, it says uh, vendor sell price 8, and the other one is 5, the disenchant value. But it depends on what they what they will become. So strange dust, well, yeah, okay. If it says that you will get the strange dust, I would probably vendor it. If the vendor price is higher than the disenchant. But let's see over here, we got a few sales also. So let's empty it all. And let's go over here. We run back. It's it's such a shell farm to do as well. I mean, there I think there's like three or four caves, and yeah, you could you could pair it with uh, the mining if you have that. I don't have that. Uh, I've for now I've chosen the tailoring and and engineering. I haven't started engineering yet, so let I just have to wait and see. The reason why I picked it, tailoring last night was because of uh, the price on the linen compared to the bolts was such a huge profit for me so I learned it just to make bolts and sell uh, like it doesn't sound like much but percentage wise and the margin was very nice so let's see here how much we're getting now let's fill this out and let's see how much we get we will get six. Okay, so we didn't gain that much on it. Well, now we know that. But yeah, if you haven't seen, if you, if you haven't tried this farm, I highly recommend you do it while you're leveling. Um, I'm gonna try and go here on my Warlock, my level 38, soon to be Warlock, and do this farm for one hour uh, because it's Horde also. But this is the place where you have the highest drop in, uh, to my understanding of the light feathers and small eggs. So I, I, I can only imagine how much we can gain an hour in gold by doing this farm on my horde character. And also take note that when I did the farm, you can see in the video, I'm gonna increase the size of it so you can see. I actually don't have the world buff. I do not have the Black Fathom Deep world buff. And uh, I just wanted to try it without the world buff. Just to see how much I would gain without the buff. Because sometimes you can die. Which I actually did in the video. So, But yeah. I mean. it You could probably do it faster. With the Gnome Regan uh, buff. You would probably kill them even more. So yeah. And 
I want to thanks everyone to watching this video. Uh, if you press over here, you will see my latest video. And uh, yeah, I'm in that video. I'm teasing a bit. Well, I'm not saying exactly, but I'm mentioning something that I've started to do for phase three. So if you haven't watched that one, click this one and I'll see you over there. Bork, bork.